Hi, Paul right here. A while back in California, where my mom, where my mom lives, um, she was at auction, and she managed to get me fencing help. She saw it up there. She got it for ten dollars, and she knew I'd like it, so you know she went for it and won that bid, and really appreciate that. And the thing is, for a while now I've been wanting an arming cap and maybe something a little extra padding wise and on eBay about maybe four or five days ago I ordered something a little overkill but I haven't got around to sharpening my uh, pocket knife yet so we're going with this diving knife these are interesting knives too. They have all sorts of features to them. <laughs> um, it looks like there's a busted tip here, but it isn't. It's, it's flat like that on purpose. My understanding is that you use it to get open oysters. And there's a back saw here, which I think is supposed to be in an emergency. You can um, cut through hose line or something. It's got a paracord wrap. And I think it's, what is it? 420 JS2 is what they call the steel. Marine grade knife steel. Supposedly, you can you, you could stab a shark with it. I wouldn't want to get close enough to a shark to find out. They're real heavy too. They're really heavy for their size because you can use them to, I guess, tap on tanks to get a, a partner diver's attention. But they, in their design, they just have so much versatility in one blade. And I really like this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure I'm not getting any of that. And I'm going to come in. I'm just going to power through like this. Now I got a little bit open. I can see what I'm working with a bit better. Okay, yeah. I can just... Uh, use my finger from here. There we go. Okay, let me set this down. And yes, this is what I thought it was. I have a couple other things coming, so can't be too sure. Oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> I, I wonder if my helmet is even going to fit while wearing this thing. I can't wait to find out because my helmet's already a, a sufficiently snug fit without any kind of padding. Wow, okay, this is thick. This is, that's about half an inch thick. The majority of it seems to be that diamond quilted pattern, which is the one I like the best. And then where it's needed, it's actually even a bit thicker than half an inch, I'd say, like on the top of the head and the back of the head here. These are, looks like half tan, six ounce, eight, eight ounce leather straps, six ounce, I think. Got a nice, strong, really good looking buckle on it. And the back side of the buckle isn't hollow. It's uh, solid. It's got these very large rivets. Good and secure uh, ring of leather on the inside. Now the material, 
according to the tag, the upper material is 100% cotton, and the inner padding is 30% wool and 28% polyester. The lining is also 100% cotton. So the outside is cotton, the inside is a wool polyester blend, and it feels tough. Now, uh, I haven't combed my hair yet, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I like this. I'm going to pull that nice and snug, too. There we go. Oh, I like the way that fits. Uh, instantly though, the padding does dampen sound a little bit from the sides. Not very much, just it's a little more echoey and I hear definitely more forward focus because of the way it is. Pull on it a bit. These are kind of moldable. And Probably, I'm thinking I want to put the cap or the chin in first. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's comfortable, actually. I thought it was going to be a little bit. And, you know, my bib on this is a little short. Uh, well... It had torn after I got it and I restitched it and I restitched it about an inch too high. But this kind of covers the gap, I think. Yeah. Now I paid twenty-one dollars and eight cents for this total. Uh, that's with the shipping, of course. And I'm I'm very pleased with it. I like it. Yeah, that that now I feel protected. It arrived right when I expected it to, which is nice. I'm probably going to go for maybe a sleeveless arming jacket next. See if I can pick one of those up for a good price. But this seller is definitely getting good positive feedback. So I guess that's it. Later.